All right, well, we've got a vlog started for a versus game here at uh, Central America. America's backyard war. But I'm going to have to look at the quality because I don't know if I'm going to show you the vlog here. This looks pretty good. This is just me with the camera. We do have a, a Steam overlay that will record it. And then I have to upload it from Steam, but the audio ain't no good on that. You can barely hear me. I even I even got me a microphone here, but uh, it don't it don't work that good on that Steam. It, you have to turn the sound up to ten, and even then you'd be able to barely hear me. So we might just go ahead and run the vlog together on this and see how his moves go, or I might just let you see it back on the table. But uh, I just got an email from him. And I was even telling the girlfriend, I said, I think it, this is going to be a wash. <laughs> she, she's like, not again. I'm like, yeah, I think so. So, uh, lo and behold, I got an email this morning, and uh, he was asking me if everything was okay. I'm like, yeah, I'm ready to play. And he's like, well, I sent you my moves. And I'm like, oh, I didn't see him. But I think he did send him to me, but I thought maybe he was just confirming the starting uh, positions because we kind of had a question about that CIA helicopter. But I think there was a vlog attached to that, and all I would have had to have done was just what I hadn't clicked on through the vlog to see how this game progresses. So we will come back and uh, see uh, the opening moves in this versus game of Central America. Now, I want to go back first and finish my combat, and then I'll reset that up on the table to reflect what's going on with this game. Because sometimes I just like looking at the table. This thing here, you can, you can see it a little bit. I'm trying to... How do I move this? I don't know. Hold on a second. Yeah, you can move a little bit up here. Yeah, which ain't bad. I mean, you can look on your screen and see what's going on. Either way, it's good. We will be back to uh, finish up that combat. Then we'll compare it with, with my opponent. What his moves are. We'll be back. Alright, then we're back with the uh, simulator game. And this is a situation it looks like. And like I said, it, it, this is just a simulation. Uh, in my game, he was able to bring on all his insurgents. He might not be able to meet that in uh, our regular game, but I'm just going to go through this little combat here and see what we can do. We have a, it'll be our first combat using uh, air support, so we're going to have this little ground combat here. Let me add up the attacker factors and see what's going on because we have to have a soak off attack. I'm probably going to lose a unit, but I'm trying to think out which one I want to use. And I'll keep that one at full strength, and I'll take the one that's uh, already reduced in numbers. And I'm pretty sure we'll get a, the same result either way. Uh, do you want to lose one or do Well, maybe we'll just take a hit from the strongest one. So I guess the first thing we'll do is go with the... Uh, oh boy, here. Yeah, it's their one no matter what. The only thing that's reduced is his defense capability when he takes a hit, so... We'll go ahead, we won't lose a unit. He will be attacking a, oh, a defense factor of three, ouch, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it'll be a one to twelve. <laughs> oh, what we got down here now, let me see. One to something or less. All right, well, you can only go down here to one or four or less, so that's what we'll do. And uh, I think it says something in the rules about, I think, it being an automatic loss or something, anything more than one to four. So let me check that out real quick. Be right back. It just says down here in the bottom here, as a rule of thumb, if the attack is made at a combat ratio or one or three or less after column shift, the attacker must retreat. So he can ignore that result. And not take a hit, so he might be able to stay there. We'll see what's going on there, because we are we are entrenched. So, uh, oh, oh, we will oh, make an attack, I guess. We're right here. Initial combat result, and uh, we'll see what the modifiers are here, real quick. Oh, let me see here. Modifiers, modifiers. What do I do with my modifiers? Oh, here they are. All right, artillery, these are for uh, column shifts. Special forces, no. Engineers, no. Tank, no. Attack, elo, no. 
and the CIA early round warning ground combat. Now I could use that attack helo on this attack. Huh. Wow. What would that do? <laughs> oh, what does that give me? Oh, let me see. That gives me a, uh, oh, come on, what do we do with that note? Pause it here. All right, then. Uh, we're defending with 12 factors. I'm attacking with one. If I use the helicopter, I bump that up to a three, which makes it a one to four still. I'm going to column shift to the right, which will make it a one to three, and you look down here, and it's still the same, so it's really not going to affect anything. I'm still going to lose a... So that's, but we're not going to do that. We will go ahead and uh, roll with this column one to four. And check out the results. Oh, let me see here. Let me make sure we do everything right. Uh, column shifts then. No, we won't take advantage of the uh, attack helo. All units attacking across the river, no. We're not attacking them in a the trench, no. If they're not in a city or port, no. Insurgency units are included in the defense. That's yes, so that'll be a minus one on our die roll. Uh, no bombardment points. And uh, insurgency units included in the attacker, yes. Or no, oh, that's right, then we're all regulars. So we'll be rolling with a one to four. And the current combat ratio will stay as the initial. And uh, we got a minus one die roll. <laughs> With a one. Oh, it's probably the worst result we could get. Oh, minus one or less. I gotta take two hits. So let me see here. He's done. Yeah, he's done. Two hits in retreat. I can ignore the retreat, but I definitely gotta take two hits with a zero result. Oh, here, hold on. Zero result. Yeah, we got a one. So the zero result. Yeah, it's the same thing. Two hits. All right, well, the, uh, oh, that'll eliminate him, that, well, either or, he will be done. Oh, here we are, the leg, uh, I guess that's a company, one, two, four, FDN, first casualties. Yeah, we can find out what that size is here. Is that a battalion or a company? Uh-oh, here's somebody coming down the steps. It's our little friend. <laughs> he just got all cleaned up. Hello, little boy. You don't want to be on camera? Oh, he's got his little spot he goes to. All right, let's see here what the size is. All right, well, that's a battalion. There you go. A battalion FDN is eliminated. All right, now we got our second attack going on. This is the one where we hopefully will eliminate that unit and maybe relieve the, the little siege there. See what we got on attack factors. Our defense factors is a three. Let me zoom you on in. Zoom you on in, and it's just a three. He's there by himself. So we're starting out with a oh, three defense. Kind of what we're attacking with a one, two, three. Uh, our new our new boys, four, five, six. Oh boy in here. Seven. Alright, so we got six. Seven going on right after the right on the bat. Now we'll be throwing the helicopter on them. And I think these bombardment points are die roll modifiers. I think we get a plus two. Let's we'll see here real quick. Hold on, let me get this all straightened out here. Find out what the procedure is. Alright. Oh, look at a two to one already. We get a, oh, just a one plus because I got one bombardment point. But we could add, I think, well, what do we all do here? Well, let's find out. We'll figure out what the procedure is. We'll be right back. Oh, let me pull out here. Oh, during combat, he adds his ground attack value. So that seven becomes, we'll zoom in here. We're looking at that middle number below that. Shaded two, so that's a seven, eight, nine. So we get nine combat factors plus. Oh, I want to column shift to our right. So we're looking at a 
three to one initial combat ratio all the way up here now there you go from down here <laughs> all the way up here and the column shift to the right for our helicopter we'll go through this here now on this attack oh i was in the right spot to begin with no i was not oh here we go artillery no engineers no and this is for both of them both of us Special forces, no. Tank, no. Attack heal, yes. We got our column shift. CIA, early electronic warfare, maybe. Our early warning, I think it's electronic warfare ground unit, no. GMA radios. Now for die roll modifiers. Not all of us are attacking across the river, no rivers involved. We are not attacking them. They are not entrenched or in a fort. They're not in a city or town. An insurgency unit is a defending unit, or is it? No, it's a regular unit. Oh, we got away with one there. All right. Bombardment point delivered. We already did that. We will, uh... Oh, no, we didn't deliver bombardment points. We did close air support or whatever we did. We don't, we don't have that. Insurgency unit is included in the attack. Yes, we get a plus one die roll modifier. All right, he, he added his value to all the attack factors, which was two. Initial column there. We shifted a column over for uh, his combat support. And now we get us a plus one in our die roll because we're going with insurgency units. All right, looking for a high die roll for the lone uh, Sandinista regular. And they're hunkering down. They're getting pounded from way out. People in the trenches. Some old boys from across the border. Other boys from up the road. And a CIA helicopter, which is a Chinook. So either, either it's got a machine gun out the back or on the side, or some kind of rocket pods, but it's going after them. We are ready to roll with a uh, die roll modifier, plus one. High roll looking for, yeah! It's victory time for the uh, Contras. All right, let's see here. We got us a seven. Seven all the way over seven. Is that right? Yes, all right. And if the uh, other one's there, seven. That is two hits for him, and he has to retreat. Required retreat, but the only thing is two hits will take care of him. And he has to mandatorily take those two hits. So there you go. Oops. I'll have to find out there's an advance after combat rule, but that is the result of my first. I'm having fun with this game. <laughs> We might continue this one and do a game with the uh, with my buddy and check out his first moves here coming on up. But there you go. We'll probably call this a simulation. That's good enough. We went and hadn't got through with them. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set everything up for our game coming up. But there you go. That was just uh, something to do. Uh, I'm, I'm going to look at the advance after combat real quick and see who, if anybody, I want to bring in there. And then we got what's called the, well... Helicopter transport. Oh, a second insurgency disbandment. So would you want to disband your units and put them into the woods, get those points back? They have nobody to attack, but eh, that depends. The key thing in this scenario is keeping that fortification hex. So you got to do that almost at all costs, but so far. Oh, even on the victory points on my simulator game, we both got uh, one unit down. You get victory points for that, but... I think we're going to call that a game, a uh, little simulation when we come back with the next video. Boats flying for real. <laughs> Not for real, but it's going to be a real game. We'll be back. More Central America victory games.